Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and today we have a special guest. Her name is Shokwe. <laughs> what am I here today? I really don't know. Mm, I was just passing by and I said, let me stop. <laughs> It's been like forever since the last time I said I was doing a YouTube video. But guess what? We are here today mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. MVP, VVVVVVIP, Moshoppe Folua, Lara, So, as far as I know, Shoppe is my oldest friend, and I think that Shoppe is one person that probably knows me like a lot. Today, Shoppe is here, and we're going to be. I need to dance. <laughs> I need to talk. Basically, we have like a whole um fun. I don't know if it's going to be fun, but you'll find out. A whole fun. Ask me questions. Da 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 da. Thing lined up, and then we're going to be talking about adulthood because Shoka and I we're actually the same age. Well, I'm older than her by a few months, so we're pretty much it's, the same. It's just like three months, guys. Ah. <laughs> April, Five months. April, May, June, July. August. Let's not do that. <laughs> Okay, so we're born in the same year and we're pretty much in the same stage of our lives dealing with the same things same issues so we're going to be talking about that but before we start let's do icebreaker some bring us some nice q and a <laughs> so we found these really cool questions online and shopper is going to just ask me anything that she wants to ask me and i'll ask her and because we're jesus babies we're going to be answering truthfully what was your first impression of me <laughs> this is, I cannot remember my first impression of you because remember we were children. But I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I Should guess. I say my own? Yes. Yeah, what was your first impression of me? <laughs> <laughs> I think as we started to grow older, I was just very in awe of Shope and how she was very confident and she could express herself. Like I always had this issue with talking to people. So Shope would, she never had that issue. She was able to talk, stand her own, hold her own ground. So I guess maybe I was in awe of Shope. That's my answer. Okay, so I, I can't really remember like when we're children, cause like for me when we're children, we weren't, we didn't used to be in each other's space. We just in Sunday school. Yeah. And I'm just, I, I mean, I think you were just the Tomoa that was that smart girl, that girl that, you know, that smart Tomoa do you get in our corner because i know that like you were you were always into yourself so i just saw yes and i think that yeah i must have been in her of you too because i'm just like how can somebody be so quiet like how can somebody be so calm for me it's like sometimes i'm like Chopin, you talk a bit too much a bit too out there <laughs> so sometimes i'm like let me let me try to calm down so you're that girl that i'll look at and say okay i think that you know you should emulate that kind of babe i mean and then um as adults i think you were still that tomua that was just smart to me that that's like the impression i think i've always had about you that tomua that was just smart and <laughs> now that I, like now knowing you and everything i mean i don't think that i didn't have bad impressions so i'm not surprised to know like to that i got to know you and then i realized that you know i mean you're very unassuming i just learned that word yesterday by the way and i said i must use it <laughs> you're very unassuming very sweet someone is like the kind of person that's sometimes i feel like this kind of person in this kind of evil world how, how do you balance it like why are you how are you able to stay in this world like you're, you're supposed to be in your own planet like in your own planet like I, i'm not joking okay, so you know, told you, you know i've told you before i've told you before that like if i'm trying to story about you it would be about your heart so i'm just like ah, Tomua, like how are you it feels like she's too good for this world i mean i know there's not there's nothing that's like Let's that but that's just yeah that's what i think of her now oh, yeah i mean i'm not gonna die in death so since we're going there yeah. <laughs> no no there's nothing no let's go it's a lab it's my own <laughs> so you know i said i'm a few months older than Shope, but it just feels like Shope is way more advanced than me like so many things i'm too chicken to do too scared to do like shopper will just wake up and decide that you know what i don't like this situation anymore i'm leaving you mm -hmm. know what i'm done with this or you know what i want this and i'm going to do it like we have some similarities because i'm very hesitant to like do things and take the world by storm but shopper is not afraid to take those decisions like she's very she's very confident very who is that you <laughs> 
You. She's very coffee and she's so fun. Like you can't uh-huh. be with Shopee and not laugh. And Shopee is like a friend that is able to bring people together. So uh-huh. you know how me I'm reserved and some other people might be out there. Shopee is like the perfect balance. So she just brings this. I, I'm pretty sure that I became friends with most of our Sunday school friends because of you. Because mm. me. <laughs> okay, yeah, true. Thinking about it, I'll just be my best. <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah, so that but, but it's a good thing too. Yeah, we, the world needs people like you, balance people like me that are out there, people like you that are just in your space. It's not for you because if people from my office are watching this video, they'll say, Why are you describing? <laughs> Is it this stuff? <laughs> no, I think that when you are in your space, so that's the thing. When you're in your space, like I'm seeing you do some things, and I'm like, ah, Is this Tommy Wah? Do you understand? Like, I'm like, is this the most? I think when you're with people that you're comfortable with, when you're in your space, like, you have to be in a space that, you know, you are totally comfortable. You can't, you know, exhibit some... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so my own question for you. What's the name of my first crush? Hey, God. <laughs> the wife. <laughs> it's okay. Well, yeah, let's say celebrity crush. Celeb- uh, I don't know celebrity. Uh, is it boy crush? Yeah, mm. you have boy <laughs> crush. <laughs> Guy, I literally changed my Instagram page. I was always supposed to see his pictures. Hey, Faust. <laughs> How did I almost forget? Hey, God. Because the boy that everybody that saw me. Yes, Faust. How did I almost forget? Gosh, thank you, Jesus. I oh, love Faust. Like... Ah, Jesus. She was, was in love. love. <laughs> was in love. Was she she what happened to that crush? I agree with the Lord. It's true. She has grew it. No, I, I think I, I can't remember your own first crush. Boy crush. Because I know it's a celebrity crush. Yeah. Right? I know you don't have celebrity. I have two names, but I know that one was first. Can I see? Tell me why you're first. Have you ever had a fight? I said I want to. <laughs> no. We haven't fought. Yeah, I don't think we fought, but I think that we've had like cases um, where yeah. we're not exactly happy with each other. That's why we live together. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I can't remember any case. So I don't. I don't think that like I. I was there was any time that I was angry at you. Yeah, but there just be times when because I used to get these weird moods. Yeah, like, I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, so I used to wonder like, what did I do? Oh, you used Have to I, think that. Yeah, I used to. Um, I used to be so like, oh my god, what did I do? I'm sorry. What am I doing? As I said, I don't think that we've had any arguments. And that time. Um, I mean, well, I don't think we were both emotionally intelligent to know that, oh, you can't uh, discuss these like, things. Yeah. You should talk, sit and talk about it. So me, I'm just like, mm, that's not my tomorrow behavior. I mean, I was For me, it's just like, okay, that's not my behavior. So I don't know. I wasn't angry at it. I wasn't, like, it wasn't something that was, I don't think it was a bother to me. Maybe in the initial stage, it was a bother to me, but like, because of maybe the kind of person I am, I just I was just like, okay, that's normal to my behavior. Because sometimes like it's just like, oh, everything is cool and nice, and then one day everything is like, and I'm like, <laughs> are we fine? Yeah? That's why I say Shopee has seen me. But I don't. I didn't think. Sure. I didn't think too much of it. I was just like, okay, it's, it's. I mean, maybe something. And I mean, it's, she might have been going through some things. That yeah, I, I know. I, I've always been an overthinker, so sometimes it's like me fighting battles with myself, and I'm like. I don't think I want to be in anybody's yeah. space. That's why it was always very hard for me initially when I met people who were like very out it there and want to just stay. I'm like, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you, you know, like, I think that we've had this conversation about like you learning to accept love and learning to accept people. Mm-hmm. And I think that that was the situation with us because I'm like an intense person. I'm like, so yeah, for you, it's just like, you just sit there and look at like, okay. Sis, it's not really, really going it's like, okay, so Ma, what did you do to deserve this kind of friendship? Like, what's that? why is this thing happening? So when this person leaves now, what's going to happen? Like, it's just a fear of getting too attached. Like, it's actually, there's a word for it, I can't remember, but it's like when you're getting too close to people, and you, so you just start thinking like, okay, why are we so close? And yeah. you want to withdraw. It happened a lot. Yeah. But Still now, sometimes, yeah, but now you're yeah, like way better, like way better. Now, Tomo has a lot of well, maybe not a lot of because I mean, friend, maybe not friend is the best word, but she, she knows a lot of people now. I can talk to you. Yeah, which is really good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> I see one for you. Does your friend focus on the future or the past? Didn't I saw that question? I thought that you asked me. Mm. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> if we try, but I mean, we've pretty much been saying it that, like, yeah. if you know Tommy, why well, she's. She used to be, I mean, now not so much as. Um, not so much anymore. Um, she's an overthinker, so obviously, 
uh, I think it's a mix of the both actually because I wanted to say past, but then I'm like, you also think about the future, like, oh, what can happen? Oh, what's yeah. this thing? Let me work out. Oh, what's this thing? I mean, but I think I'm an overthinker too. But for me, I think that the thing is, I'm an overthinker. But when I get to a fun place, I'm like, drop that overthink. I like, yeah, I literally, to I'm like. Yourself. This is not the time to overtake. Ah. Oh yeah, party time. Oh yeah, me. This. I'll carry the baggage. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think that's the difference. Like you would probably like carry. I mean, I, Jesus is helping us to work on that. Hallelujah. Amen. What's the moment <laughs> in our friendship that touched you? Plenty have touched me, but let me start listing. When Chopin came for my mommy's birthday. Are you serious? That was really sweet. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Chopin came for my mommy's birthday. When okay, from my childhood, probably those times that you guys would come to my house on my birthday, you know, yeah, I didn't have a lot of friends. Do you know the funny thing? It's weird because, like, I don't have memories of that day, but like, when I we see pictures, pictures. <laughs> we have pictures of us dancing yeah. on your birthday, and yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, when wow, was this? you guys were really there. Okay, also, also things like when something good happens to the shop, and then I'm one of the first people to hear it. Of course. Kind of things make me feel, make me feel really, 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 really warm. Because <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm important to shop with. Oh. Of course, baby. Yeah. But yeah, it's all those things. Yeah. I think yeah. I also have that too. <laughs> I mean, like, so there's this thing I do whereby I think back about moments, and then I sort of try to write it down. So right now, my brain is like really foggy. But I know that um, one special thing that Tomoa does is, if I literally need Tomua any day, she's she's reliable. I think that's that, that's the word. She's very reliable. Anytime I like call on Tomua, like Tomua, please, I need this thing. Me, I'm there thinking, hey, but I'm about to interrupt her busy schedule. But she's there, like, okay, come on, girl, I'm here for you. If I'm like Tomua, I'm really down. I want to really talk to somebody. Tomua is like, okay, girl, come on, let's go, let's do it. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's such a so sweet weird. character trait. She's very reliable, very, very available for you. Very available, but does not mean that she just is too. I mean, you have to respect your friend's time too, but she's very available. And that's one thing I really like. Yeah. <laughs> See, so. us, we say we'll come and play on now. We are doing mushy mushy things. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. No, adults. Adult. Adult. <laughs> what has having a job taught you? Um, let me first of all say that like I think I like adulthood. I I, I have a love hate relationship with it, but more love than hatred. And it's not just because I'm able to make my decisions. It's just because I have a a sense of being from being an adult. Mm -hmm. I feel like since I've become an adult, I just feel ten times smarter because I'm I'm like there are like so many things I now know, so many things I like yeah. knowing how to navigate through life. All of those things, I don't know, it gets me excited. I mean, it's difficult, it's hard, it's everything. But I, I, I still enjoy it. So, I, and it's weird, but I know I enjoy it. So what has job, having a job made me feel like? Hmm. Like I said, it, it has made me really happy. I mean, I know that work is tough and everything. I'm never going to dispute that fact. But I've, I actually enjoy having a job. I remember that, like one time in... 2020 yeah when covid hit and everything i quit my job because i was just like i'm tired the world just felt like the world was ending and i wanted something more actually go, go get her. so <laughs> i'm a risk taker but please no i can't do that again i think as i'm getting older now i can't be doing that again <laughs> so i mean i didn't have a job for like two to three months and i mean everybody was at home but at the same time i wasn't I did exactly and I was not my, I was not happy to be honest. I wasn't it just felt like I was kid. I wasn't being I wasn't able to be I don't know. It wasn't it just felt like I wasn't yeah. able to be like to be a human being. It was it just felt weird and I didn't like it at all. So I mean having a job makes me happy. Even though like it's a lot of work and everything. I like I like the complaining about oh my god, work is so tough. Oh my Imagine god, not having a job I, to oh complain my god, I'm about. so tired. Yeah. I think for me, adulthood is like, you know, the way people say, oh, I mean, I'm Yoruba. Mm -hmm. And Yoruba pray, people pray that, you know, you should always have a child. When they're praying that you have a child, they're praying that they want children that will scatter their homes, children that will disturb them, that they don't want quiet children. And mm -hmm. it's literally a prayer for, okay, I want an active child. 
And then when the active child comes, you know how mothers are complaining that, oh my God, God. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But you won't, so have, any but you won't have any other way. That's how adults do this for me. Yeah. So, like, I won't have it any other way. It's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I want to unsubscribe. But I won't have it any other way. I think for me, it has really just taught me responsibility because you know, I was so used to, you know, mm -hmm. being in my True. feelings. My, my, me, 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 like, I was very self. But adulthood has just, you know, helped me realize that things take work. You're mm -hmm. accountable to people, even though you don't like it or you don't think you should be. Like, I'm accountable to you as my friend. Like, if you're my friend, obviously, yeah, certain things that I have to be doing. Like, I can't just disappear like i normally would and say you know mm -hmm. i don't want to be here anymore oh, i just told me yeah. responsibility you know with having a job like i want to just call me oh tomorrow she run agreements with by me and i'm like ah, is it me they ask for my opinion <laughs> actually <laughs> is it me like my boss is it me that my boss you is value my me? opinion and then she's like oh well done thank you so much is that me <laughs> <laughs> yeah it gives you this i mean it's not to say that you are tying yourself yeah. words to your job, but it but gives you this form of self worth. There's nothing I love more than having my boss with me a compliment. I'm like, oh my god, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> like I'm doing well. But yeah, I mean, having a job. Like I can't imagine I can't imagine not having a job. Not to say that it's a bad thing or if you're not if you don't have a job that you know it's the end of the world. But mm -hmm. I think it's just that we've come to experience this and we'd rather be in this so than when we joke about oh, being billionaire wives and stay at home like, oh, who is nah. staying at home? <laughs> I, I think it's the same way like when you're in school before you're in school you're like oh my god i want to be in school i want to be in school and when you're in school you're like, like oh my uh, god go, i want to go, go just, but you you just rather not yeah not be a student yeah. and yeah, yeah so it's like the things you prayed for they're here but you're like ah. No, I said, you see that video of that guy? Like, he was doing jumping jacks in the bathroom. He said, in the bathroom doing jobs because I'm already beginning to sleep at the job I prayed for. <laughs> okay, yeah! I saw it and then I'm like, yeah, like, the job you prayed for, you got two months down the line, you're like, God, I beg, give me strength for this job that I prayed for. <laughs> God, I beg, go. Go <laughs> go Next question. From a shock, my full of alcohol will start. Okay, yet. okay. Did you say you have any regret? I mean, I know you're better than me when it comes to mm -hmm. love. You have actually put yourself out there. Anyway, my mother is going to watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. Maybe no, she like, has no, love doesn't necessarily mean like relationships and stuff now. Like, yeah, okay. She is, she's willing to let people in and okay, all this. So, okay, okay. Would okay, you yeah, say yeah. that you have any regrets with, you know, accepting certain people or certain things that people did to you? Did growing up give you like this sense of boundaries and definitions about your relationships and what you want them to be like hmm. so this question i've thought about it a whole lot especially like in the last one year because i mean i've had to let go of some friendships i've had to let go of you know some things and then i'm like hmm, am i that one person am i like all those people that say oh i regret you know allowing you into my space and all of that I don't think I'm that type of person and it, it's so weird but like I've thought about it I've tried to be that type of person and, and it's not just me like I don't even regret being friends with those people do you understand I mean it's not like it's plenty of people so that people don't think that I'm cutting off plenty <laughs> friends <laughs> please I don't do that I mean I don't think that I I know I don't think that I'm I do not regret it at all in fact more than ever I feel like oh I'm even more open to friendships like i for some reason it just makes me feel like okay if this person has left your life you sort of need more friends now you, you, <laughs> you sort of yeah i'm 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 very much open to friendships very much i don't i don't regret those things i feel like they've taught me lessons do i know boundaries now do i know like how to set boundaries and everything yes do i know what the expectations i have for friendships and do i and can i communicate that for example yeah my friend can, am I able to communicate to you that um, this is the way I would like to be, you know, I would like to do this friendship thing as opposed to just maybe leaving it in your hands or just doing or just being the one to do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I, I'm better at that. And yeah, I think I'm better at that. I, I think they are just lessons for me. I Like for me, I'm, I'm open to friendship. I think I'm, I'm the always same open as you. to friendship. I've learned a lot lately not to throw around the word friend, 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 friend. friend. Yeah, that's oh. something I've learned to like to define who your friends are. Yeah, because if something good happens to me, I'm they're, they're like what four or five people I'm going to tell. Actually, I know a lot of people doesn't mean that I'm friends with a lot of people. Yeah. 
That's what people are friends with me doesn't but mean that I'm friends so with them. You have so many friends. I'm like, who? who, who, who? <laughs> These are people I know. People you're just able to talk to, and I think it takes more than just a few conversations to become mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you want to be my friend, <laughs> apply. Tomo and I will be collecting dollars for it. <laughs> Send money. Send the money. <laughs> I'm just joking. Already. Not really. Okay, so um, is there anything that you learned from your parents growing up? Like maybe as a child, you used to think that oh, why, why, why are parents like this? But then growing up, you come to understand. Well, so for me, I grew up with like a single parent. My dad died when I was really young. So I'm trying to. I I think that like me and my mother are like quite similar. We're quite sim but very much similar in character in i look this is my mother like if you look <laughs> at me right now this is my mother in this this is just my mother you know so i'm trying to think of like a particular thing mm. I, I would have said you know the god thing but then even as a child i like the idea of god maybe i just uh, maybe when they like tell us come and go to video i'm just like oh yeah i'm tired like why do we have to go Blah, blah. okay maybe that's it actually i like i've never been i i don't my salvation story is not one of oh i was in the world i don't know i don't have that <laughs> i don't have a wild <laughs> yeah i don't have a wild salvation story my salvation story is i grew up in church i've always been in church i might have strayed a bit here and there but i've always been in church i've always liked the idea of church i've always liked the idea of god i've always felt like you know this god i want to know him so as an adult, you know, it's like amazing that, you know, I, I, I'm getting, yes, I get to know him on that deeper level. But um, I would say that, like, some things that maybe that related to church that I didn't understand that we're doing, now I understand much better. Now I understand why you have to pray. Now mm -hmm. I understand why you have to do all of these things. And I'm like, my God, I should have spent those years, you know, praying. But, like, it's never too late. And I mean, I was a child just being a child. Maybe, maybe not. But, yeah, I think that would be it. That's something. Yeah, and maybe. I think me, I just learned, you know, that our parents are human beings too. Oh, yes. And human beings have their, like me, I have my bad days. Mm -hmm. Human beings have their bad days too. They have their good days. So, the bad days that they have, we shouldn't necessarily hold it against, against them, them and hold it as the definition that we have of them and we have so many other good days. I guess I've just learned grace. Yeah, so I, that's another thing that I've learned. Like, parents, they did the best that, you know, they knew us at they that time. Do. And I think that I learned that from Twitter, funnily enough. Because, I mean, on Twitter, I've seen people say, oh, you know, your parents, anything, and all of that. That's another conversation for another day. And that was something that, like, I was talking, and I'm like, ah, look at this book, I don't know oh my parents, anything. I mean, but then I, I learned, I also learned there from there that, you know, our parents did the best they knew as at that time. And so we would give them grace. And then even I am doing the best that I know as at now. I might be wrong, yeah, I might be, do you get? And I'm also going to give my child the best I know. Of course, that doesn't mean that I'm going to give my child medic mediocre yeah. or like I'm just going to be like, eh, since I'm giving you anything, I'm giving you the best I know, anything goes. No, it just means that like I'm giving based on what my knowledge is as at that time. So, yeah, give your parents a lot of grace, gosh. Yeah, a lot of grace. Oh, mature. All right. Okay, so I'll just ask this for both of us. What's the place of god in this adulthood lifestyle like what's the what's what's the role god is playing in your life is the young called the alpha the omega the beginning and the end oh the Baba. And finish, uh, see, <laughs> i feel like so many things can roll you mad <laughs> and if you don't have that one thing that you are bojuling excuse my yoruba if you don't have that one thing that you are holding on to like nothing makes sense Really, like every day I ask myself, like, okay, why do I have to be here? Why do I have to be in this world? Because sometimes it's like a very emotional day. Like, you just wake up and see bad news. This one mm -hmm. happened. Now. And then you're like, okay, so what's the meaning of all of this? So I feel like you actually have to have, like, something that you're looking to. There has to be a purpose. If not, we're all just going to live lives, like, you know, we're just living, That's just right. like that. So I feel like God... I'm still trying to like successfully make him well not successful but I think I'm still trying to place more importance on my relationship with God like trying to stay mindful of God all the time but honestly God has brought me out of so many dark days because I mentioned that I used to have all these like crazy mood swings and stuff sometimes it still happen and I'm just like 
I don't want to do anything. Oh my God, leave me alone. Everybody leave me alone. But then in those moments, like you, you're not looking to anything else but God. So I feel like, particularly as young adults, because there are so many things that will try to break you. Mm-hmm. I feel like God should be very important to everybody. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> for me, I feel like, um, you know how I said that, like in the beginning, I said that adulthood is that child that you've prayed for, but then when it comes you're like oh my god it's so stressful do you get and how do you get through that adulthood do you get is for me it's like god is like the center of everything it's literally the only reason i'm still you know yeah literally like when people say that thing i just well that's all you know but like it's for real for real like you can actually meant you can go crazy and i'm not even joking (laughs) you can go crazy you can do you know, the funny thing is you can have everything that you want in life your dream job your dream car your dream spouse your happy. dream and everything and you're not still happy because like peace. i don't know you just don't have that peace you can have everything in the world and still not have peace and then god is like the balance out so I've, I, this adult would have totally realized that oh my it's me and god like this i've seen too much of his goodness to want to do life without him to be honest that that question. what's your mm-hmm. relationship with money Sorry. Sorry. What's your relationship with money like? Are you good with your finances? Um, so I mean I grew up in a family that you don't do bass yourself. Do you understand? That was something that was taught to me, do you get right from when I was small. Right now, I mean, based on knowing what Nigeria is and everything, me am I able to am I am I reaching my the financial goal I want? no but am i going above my means that's one thing i would never do one thing i would never do is go above my means so i mean i find it weird when people do that but i mean i'm not judging them maybe maybe it's a problem and they they need to you know i i've seen people that actually they it's yeah, actually they need a, help, yeah. it's a natural problem do you get yeah. so but then of course i'm working towards meeting my financial goals and everything and i mean that's why i'm working that's why you know i'm doing mm. one or two things but I think that I'm very, I'm a safe person when it comes to money. I'm like in my space, I'm content with what I have. If I can afford it, fine. If I can't afford it, fine. Even if I can't afford it, I have to think about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm a very, I'm very safe. I'm very safe and careful because if I borrow money, I can't, I, borrowing is not a yeah. part of my, so if I borrow money, I can't, I'll just be having hypertension. Wait. Oh how will i sleep pressure so this chest. person knows that i'm owing him pressure is getting ah, no, worse no, no, no. <laughs> now nah, yeah the pressure how about you me i used to be very good with saving i used to be very very good i was so proud of myself but then i think i because i started investing in like my youtube camera and then my gimbal for my videography and then so many purchases and it's just like i'm just seeing my savings like savings that i actually put away by myself i'm like what's this what's this poultry poultry <laughs> so so i mean i have savings but it's just not where i want to, want to and I'm, I'm giving myself grace because i know that i made exactly. a lot of heavy purchases but it's like right now at this stage where i'm like you know what i'm going to I used to have a plan, a um, saving plan, like I had a minimum amount to save, but then with all the expenses, like I'll just be like, you know, I'll just touch that money small, just to, and then all of a sudden, all that money is gone. So I want to get back on, sure. you know, planning, like being very strict with my, so I'm not going to go out and buy a dress because mm-hmm. i have so because it's actually so easy so, you know, just i have this occasion a new dress now i'll be a new dress oh i need nice. retail therapy come on i'm do. feeling sad next time i'm globus no i've caught that in other i don't come to globus anymore Not anything that will chop your money i said that they won't see my money cut again them. yes cut them they off. won't see cut my money them again. off so i'm going to be very strict yes yeah, so i think that you should give yourself grace why because this investment you're making you're putting it into your craft so that you can make more money from it do you understand so it's to bring you more money and i mean buying cameras all these things is the reasonable yeah. investment do you understand it's not like you're buying i mean sometimes you're buying shoes yeah. but it's not like as if no, you're buying shoes every other day there's delivery for you check check every other day yeah. no is that you know she's investing it into things that would bring her more money so i think is i mean what did you save the money oh, for what did you save it for <laughs> You said it to literally make you more money. Yeah. So, alright, that makes sense. 
Yeah. Well, very strict. Yes. yes. But I want to buy ring lights. Can I buy ring lights? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can actually buy ring lights. So, are you ready to end it? Yes. Final words, advice to any younger person watching this. Or um, any human being, pretty much. Actually, um, so um, my advice would be to give yourself grace, to pace yourself. Don't rush. I know like we're in the era of social media, everybody's chasing everybody. I'm very active on social media. When I say active, I like I, I go through my Instagram almost every day, except I'm on a break or something. So I very much, I see all of these things, but don't let the pressure get to you. I don't know, maybe it's just my kind of person, but I always say that I'm not one of those people that can be easily influenced. Like, do you get so if, if maybe, uh, maybe me being on social media, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you if you are on social media i won't help you so i i think that you should you know if it needs if you if you need to cut out the time you spend on social media maybe try it out you get but um give yourself pay um give yourself grace pace yourself don't be expecting to be driving a lamborghini at 24 amber yeah. it doesn't work that way you get so give yourself a lot of grace you are doing the work and you will see the reward amen amen fire Hey, so coming from what Shopee said, I would say that if you find that you are easily impressed by social media, just delete it. Honestly, I deleted Twitter like a couple of months ago, and now I, I just your life will actually like, still be beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't remember you, like no I pressure. Don't feel, and it wasn't even because of like pressure. It was just because I'm very emotional, so like I can see all oh, this person. Mm -hmm. And Twitter is like reading in people's heads, like it's like you're in everybody's mm -hmm. head all at once so you're acquiring pain yeah you're acquiring pain and all those things so i just felt like you know twitter was doing me more harm than good so i cut it off but yeah from what she said be very cautious what you let into your space yeah and then i think i'll also add that actively work on your flaws because nobody's gonna work on it for you mm -hmm. so as much as you know you are giving you, yourself giving grace. yourself grace and placing yourself on this pedestal just remember that there are people whose lives will be affected by the things that you do or don't exactly. do so if you realize that you have a flaw or if people let you know that you have this flaw that's hurting them then it's your duty to work on it for the good and safety of the people that you love mm -hmm. so we are at the end of the video yeah do you want to do our show? Things you must say. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh, okay. Um, share this video. Leave a comment. Yeah. Okay. Um, guys, this is Tomwa's channel. She's giving you guys quality content. Now, is it her? She did there. Lifestyle. She did there. Um, Jesus. She did there. Ah, uh ah. -uh, she even brought me fine face like this. Yeah, for you people. So please like, subscribe, share, comment. Hey, should be a marketer. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I like your hair. Thank you. Ah, it was made by Tomua. <laughs> and guys, don't think that I always look like this every day. I had a photo shoot. It's, it's, I don't always look this glammed up. Glammed if you I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, but like, I don't always look this glammed up. So, I guess. Thank you so much for watching our video. Remember to it. like, of course, subscribe, like she said, share. like, subscribe, share all the works. And I will Turn see post you for this. For only a, for only a YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So I'll see you in a new video by the grace of the Lord Almighty. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.